live on tape from a Zoom meeting in or around or near Darden Prairie, Missouri. Welcome to Reality Check. And now here he is, your pastor and mine, Pastor Mike Schreiner. Hey, you made it. You made it. Welcome. It's great to have you. Feels really weird. I'm not really getting much applause right now. It's uh but I appreciate the effort because it's it's kind of been a it's kind of been a tough week. I got to admit that uh, I think it started last uh, weekend. Uh, it was supposed to be my son Sam's uh, prom. It's a senior year, and and just kind of everything has gone you know haywire. Uh, golfer, so the golf season got canceled. Uh, prom and graduation have been postponed. We don't know what that's going to look like if it's going to even happen maybe some virtual kind of thing i don't know how you do virtual prom um not not a lot of slow dancing in the virtual prom that's what i know um but i hate it for him it's a senior year and my senior year was so good and um it was uh if, if i had to think about my you know struggle year it was second grade which is odd right um but second grade i was like always in trouble and and i was i was i was a good kid and i was a teacher's pet but as you might, yeah. Um, but I'll never forget, I'll never forget Mrs. Connor's second grade class. And we had a kid who was uh, sick and then he was sick the next day and sick the next day and sick the next day. And, and finally, like after a week, you know, Mrs. Connor was taking the role and like, he's not here. And one of the other students said, well, I wish I could be sick. So I didn't have to go to school. And Mrs. Connor was like, well, you don't have to be here. If you don't want to be, you can leave anytime. And I'm like, well, that's, the first I've ever heard about that. So I'm like, come on, guys, let's go. So I just stood up and everybody except Karen Yamnitz, she, she was probably the teacher's pet, honestly. Um, everybody followed me out. We walked out of the school, down to the street. We were, you know, had the thumb out trying to hitch a ride back. I don't know where we would have gone, but uh, second graders, right? So <laughs> Mrs. Connor went and got the principal, uh, Mr. Alexander. They, they stood at the, uh, the window and watched us for two or three minutes, right? And we're just laughing. I mean, Mrs. Connor calls my mom and relays the whole story to her that afternoon. So they're laughing. They're, they put on their teacher and principal face, right? And then they, I think we spent the next, uh, the next month uh, inside at recess uh, doing, doing math <laughs> worksheets, right? What about you? Um, did you have a, a, you know, any, any great stories from uh, school that are like suitable? This is the key, key, oh. suitable for prime time. Yeah, that certainly cuts down on it, doesn't it? Uh, and I, by the way, I need this job. I work in a church. But uh, let me think. Well, you know, my junior and senior year, I worked in a theater troupe that didn't. Our last show was on Labor Day. And so that was back in the day when school started much later. And so I didn't get to go and do all the registration, you know, the class registration prior. So I was always on my first day. Everybody else had been there for a week or so. And so my senior year, I went into the guidance counselor on my first day, and uh, she said, well, I'm looking at your transcript. You need one more language class. And I'm like, no, I don't. I'm a senior. I'm going to have crafts. I'm going to take pottery. You know, I'm phoning this one in. And uh, she was like, no, sorry. To graduate, you need one more of these. And you have three choices. There's, uh, there's German, there's Spanish, and there's French. And, you know, choose one. And so I love my answer, Mike. I said to her, could I go meet the teachers first? And she never had a student do that. She's like, uh, I guess so. And so I went up the hallway, you know, to meet the teachers. And so the first one I walked in on was the Spanish teacher. And she didn't take to that very, she didn't like being interviewed. And uh, <laughs> so I was like, no, I don't need that one. And uh, the second one was the German teacher. And uh, as you know, Mike, the German people are a warm people but uh this one looked like she had escaped from Nuremberg so I was like no not that one either but then I walked into the third class it was the French teacher Madame Walters for all you Hazelwood people it was Madame Walters and I walked in and she went you're Keith I see you in all the shows and I was like I am home I need to take one more class and so you know the question is did you learn any French and the answer is not a word not not one word we 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 ah <laughs> if you have to go we can take a break that's great that's great i get it hey uh hey you know the only uh the only people not experiencing uh students not experiencing a lot of change right now are those homeschoolers what's up with that right 
Yeah, well, you know, we were homeschoolers. Laura, Lisa, and I homeschooled our kids. Yeah, and it is difficult. Uh, now, our kids actually made it pretty easy for us because our kids were so smart. They really only struggled with two courses, Mike. Math. <laughs> Took me a minute. Took me a minute, but I got it. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Hey, I'd love to, I'd love to keep going. We could probably tell stories and, and definitely homeschool jokes for, for, I've watched a lot of Tim Hawkins, right? Um, but, but let's get to our guest. Uh, it's going to be a great interview. You bet. Uh, you know, Winsville School District is one of our partners at Morningstar Church, and we're so proud to partner with them. Our Christmas shop program is pointed directly at them, as is our Backpack Impact program, which feeds kids on the weekend. And so it is an honor to have with us from the Winsville School District, the Chief Communications Officer, Miss Mary LePac. All right. Mary. Hello. Welcome, Mary. It's so great to have you. Uh, appreciate you taking time to, uh, to be on Reality Check with us. I'm uh, just asking you, first of all, before we get into it, how are, how are you and your family doing? We're doing very well, thank you. We're, we consider ourselves very fortunate. My husband and I are still working. Uh, my kids are older and they're all doing well. Uh, we actually, one of our sons is a paramedic and he answered the call to go to New York City and help. So he's there for a couple of weeks and we're proud wow. of him for doing that. So yeah, we're all doing very well. That's heroic. Uh, pass along our, our thanks uh, for being one of those essential uh, health workers right now, putting himself in, out there to, uh, to bring care to others. That's, a, that's pretty great stuff and uh, indicative of some pretty good parenting there. Uh, <laughs> Hey, uh, tell folks what your uh, tell folks what your role. What what does it involve uh, there at the Winsville School District? Sure. So uh, I am a member of the superintendent's cabinet. Uh, I'm responsible. Our department's responsible for all the internal and external communication. So all our staff communication, all the communication out to families, uh, the web content, our app content, our social media content. Um, we're in charge of our volunteers. I sit on the foundation board, which is, uh, supports our students and our teachers and all of our community outreach with wonderful partners like Morningstar Church, uh, our back to school fair, our holiday assistance, as you mentioned. Uh, we do uh, Coats for Kids with the Firefighters. So all those programs fall under our department. So what do you do in the other 20 hours of your job? <laughs> that sounds pretty robust. And uh, I can't imagine um, all that you're going through right now in these kind of unprecedented times with having to, to postpone school and then close campuses and you know, move to, to online um, teaching. What, out of all of that, um, what's, what's been the biggest challenge for you all? Uh, well, first, I have to give a shout out to all the people on our team, um, all of our staff members, our families, even for their flexibility. We have worked really hard to work closely with our uh, health officials and also we're in contact with all, all the other local school districts. So we're kind of all on the same page in what we're doing for families. Um, but really, probably one of the biggest challenges is just not having our kids in the buildings. You know, we in the Wentzville School District, we try very hard to take a hold holistic approach to uh, making sure that basic needs of kids are met so that they're able to learn. And so much of that is based on the relationships that we build with those kids every day and seeing them every day and knowing them and knowing their families. And so uh, that is hard on our staff right now, not having those kids in the building. Uh, it's hard on our families and it's certainly hard on our kids. So uh, we miss them. We miss them a lot. Well, it speaks to the way that, that you all have chosen to do school, which is a lot different uh, when, you know, you and I went to school, right? It was reading, you know, arithmetic and, and writing, right? And it, it wasn't all this fluffy stuff that's, you know, and uh, we understand that that stuff isn't fluffy. It is uh, essential. It's foundational to providing an environment for our kids to learn. And, and uh, so glad to be partnered with the Winsville School District. Um, what... What would you want students to know right now? If you had a message to just our students out there uh, viewing. Oh, I would tell them, A, that we miss them. We miss them very much. We're proud of them, how they have also been flexible and uh, really doing very well with this online. They, they're teaching us some things, quite honestly. So, um, but we're really proud of them. And we also want them to know that the adults uh, in their lives are doing everything they can to protect them 
and get through this so that uh, we can make uh, our schools a safe place for them to come back to. And we're, we're eager to get them back. Absolutely. Uh, so, so what about parents? I mean, you've got a senior uh, in high school and you're a parent. What, what would you want the other parents to know in the, the Winsville School District right now? Sure. We, we want them to know that uh, we understand that everyone's in a different place. Everyone has different needs right now. Uh, and th this is new for all of us. We're, we're trying our best. We know they're trying our best. And the last thing we want to do is add to their stress. Uh, so today, actually, we're going to be sending out information to parents about moving to a four-day virtual week uh, to kind of give kids a little bit of a breather. Um, our teachers will still be working on Friday, but we're, we want to give kids that break a little bit. We, we're listening to our families, and we understand there's a lot going on right now, and we need to address that. So we also want them to know we're here to support them. We, um, whether it's through meals or social emotional help or whatever they need, we are here for them and we want them to reach out if they need assistance. Hmm. That's, that's great. You know, in the midst of, of all the challenges I know that, that we've found, um, and most people have found, uh, there's also been some, some silver linings, right? When, on our Easter message, we talked about while it was still dark early that first Easter morning, God was still working. There were great things that were happening um, even while it was still dark. What, what have been some of the blessings that have come out of this for you or the, you know, the, the administration, the teachers, the faculty there at Winsville? Uh, just people's resiliency, you know, and, and also the signs of, like you said, you know, we had uh, buildings that went out and did parades in the neighborhoods to try and stay connected. We have teachers who are making uh, things on 3D printers for masks for the healthcare workers. We have students who are doing that. Um, for eight plus hours. So we just seen how the community has rallied. We were inundated um, from the minute that we closed from our community. How can we help? What can we do to help? Uh, the, the extending the operation backpack through the weekend was never a question. Uh, Morning Star Church and our other community partners stepped up and that was, that was done we, you know, with, with very little effort, you were there. So um, really it's just, there are so many signs of hope uh, seeing families um, sharing things on social media, they're doing maybe um, this was a reset a little bit for all of us that they're they're spending that time together that they didn't have before. So we are seeing all kinds of wonderful things, and uh, I'm grateful to have the opportunity to share those stories. Well, that's great. You do a great job. I get your emails uh, many times a week, so I know you are a busy <laughs> lady, which is why I appreciate your your time here. Um, hey. I've been hearing some rumors about, you know, fall and, hey, we might, you know, things might not and fall sports and back to school and rolling hours. Anything that you could tell us you guys are at least thinking or talking about right now? Sure. So, um, you know, at this point, we are moving ahead with that um, August 24th start date as the first day of school. Uh, there's so much, Mike, as you know, that is changing daily and hourly in our world. Uh, so we, were, um, we have not made any decisions as to whether or not the start of school would be any different than August 24th. We're moving ahead with those plans. We have, we have a lot of questions still to answer about this summer. So we need to do Absolutely. that first. Yeah. As, as a church, man, we're hoping that, that we're back too, right? And, and the best, uh, best thing for us is that uh, we get to, to return to some normalcy. I love your word, uh, reset. I, I do think this is a reset an opportunity uh, for a lot of folks if we're seizing it. Um, hey, again, thank you for your time. One last question. Is there anything I should have asked you that, that, that I didn't, that just important information as the communications officer there at Winsville that, that you know that you'd like to pass along? No, we're just, we're, we are so grateful for Morningstar's support and I hope you'll share that with all your congregation. Uh, we could not do what we do in terms of outreach to our families who need the help. We know as this goes on longer, more families are gonna need assistance and we are so grateful that we can call on folks like you to help in those situations. Well, thank you. And I think they're gonna get that message and, and that goes back to you. And one of the things that I appreciate about you and, and your tribe, Mary, is that you do more than just uh, put out information. When we do Christmas shop, uh, you and your team are there uh, 
all weekend long serving. Um, it's been a pleasure to know you as long as, as I've known you and, and to coach Benny on, uh, on the baseball team for several years and our partnership uh, with you through the Winsville School District. Uh, our blessings and prayers with you. Thank you for all you're doing for our students, for the parents, and for the community. Thank you. Thank you for talking with us. Have a great weekend, Mary. You too. Thank you. Bye-bye. And Bye -bye. guys, welcome. Uh, it was great to have you with us for Reality Check. I hope that you join us next week for our next segment on Friday night at 8 p.m. Until then, I'm Pastor Mike, and I'll see you next week on Reality Check. Thank you.